Hi, this is Takashima from Jazz Love Japan. Yeah, today I I just want to talk about the series that、um, most of the jazz collectors outside of Japan don't know.、Um, I think you know what? I, I just once talked about this series、um, sometime in last year, I think. But you know, I didn't talk about deeply. So, I, I just you know, have a couple of samples today. So, let's go. <laughs> okay. So, these are the samples. Yep. First, this one is a Sam Jones、uh, and Co. you know, Incorporated.、Um, down home, right? Down home. And the other, I don't know whether you know this one, you know, Johnny Light. Um, nice and easy, yes. Yeah, these are the two albums you know, I just got recently. And yeah, you know, this series is very unique in some ways. You know, one is that、um, this series is called the、uh, you know, Wave Class, I mean, Jazz Classics series. And the Wave is,、um, you know, Japanese record shop. CD record shop.、Uh, it's no longer there, you know, but you know,、uh, it used to be one of the biggest、uh, record shops here in Japan, you know, in the 80s and、uh, up to 90s. And, you know, it was located in Tokyo, Roppongi. And, you know, when I was at the university, you know, I used to go there, you know, every now and then, maybe at least twice a month, you know. So, there are, there are many you know, records and at the, at the same time, CDs at that time in the early 90s. And、uh, yeah, and they you know, produced this series. It's called Wave Jazz Classics Series. And one thing、uh, I think is unique is that、um, they picked up you know, very minor、uh, titles. You know, if you look at these ones, Okay, maybe, maybe this, you know, Sam Jones and Co.、Um, down home, I think is not that minor. But you know, even here in Japan, you know, most of the jazz collectors don't、uh, look at it as、uh, one of the, you know, popular albums. You know, it's a kind of minor. And what about this one? Actually, I didn't know this album, you know. This is the Johnny Light. Yeah, Johnny Light. Nice and easy. But you know, these minor albums that they picked up are very <laughs> good, you know, great. Yeah, Sam Jones, you know, Down Home is a great album. And this, you know, Johnny Light is very good, you know.、Uh, just look at the members, you know, presenting this session, you know. Bobby Timmons on piano and Johnny Griffin on tenor saxophone and Sam Jones on bass and Louis Hayes on drums, you know, legendary jazz musicians, right? And,、uh, you know, Johnny Light on Vibe. Yeah, very good album. And funky, it's very funky. And also, Sam Jones, you know, it's a kind of you know, big, bad, big band thing. But、um, look at the members, you know, Blue Mitchell, Jimmy Heath, Clark Terry, Les Pan, Winton Kelly, Joe. Zavi Noel, okay? Yeah, anyway, <laughs> great, great album. And the other thing which I think is unique is that,、um, you know, the, the cutting and the pressing were not done here in Japan, you know, this series. Wave Jazz Classics, you know, the cutting and the pressing were done in the US. And、um, if you look at these, you know, Albums, Sam Jones, it's、um, Riverside, right? Originally released、uh, on, the, on the Riverside. And、uh, Johnny Light is on the Jazz Land. Yeah. And those are the you know, titles that the original was owned by the Fantasy US. Yeah. You know the OJC series, right? So, Riverside Jazz Land, you know, owned by the,、uh, the Fantasy US. So, they teamed up with、uh, 
Fantasy US to cut and press, you know, these titles. You know, amazingly, the pressing quality and also the sound quality are very good. I love this, you know, series. I think, you know, especially the, you know, cutting. I think cutting is very good. That's why the sound quality with this series, you know, Wave Jazz Classic series is very, very good, you know. And uh, jazz collectors here in Japan know. So that's why, you know, when, whenever you find, you know, these titles as Wave Jazz Classic series, you know, the jazz collectors usually go for them, you know. Uh, since, you know, titles are very um, are kind of, you know, rare, minor and rare, but great sessions. And the sound quality, the cutting, just amazing, you know, superb. So, if you don't know this series, you know, maybe it's better for you to dig and uh, get one or two copies or more, right? And I just, you know, researched, you know, how many titles that they produced and uh, reissued at that time with, you know, Jazz Wave Classic series. But, you know, uh, there is no specific information about this series, so I don't know. But there are many titles, and uh, from time to time, you know, I just, uh, you know, get one or two or three titles, yeah, from the individuals, you know. And uh, these are the two samples that I got recently. And um, at that time, they used the serial WWLJ, you know. So that's why sometimes, you know, I just call this series WWLJ series, you know. And uh, they put the um, the sticker on the kind of, you know, outer transparent sleeve like this. Yeah. This, you know, lime green round sticker. And it is, yeah, it has the, you know, this serial, you know, WWLJ something. Yeah. And this is, you know, Sam Jones, yeah, round, lime, green uh, sticker, the Wave Jazz Classics series. So, yeah, whenever you find this series, maybe the, the sessions and also the sound quality, really, really superb. This, you know, series was released in the, as far as I know, you know, in the early 90s, 1990, 1991, two around that time because I saw these titles you know at the wave you know when I was <laughs> visiting them you know uh, at that time you know but um, yeah yeah I know that uh, you know wave at that time was you know concentrating on the jazz so that's why they you know produced this series I think and uh, one information that I got from the internet is that uh, you know they I mean, a wave started reissuing, you know, this series in the late 80s, like uh, 88, 89. But, you know, the initial uh, pressings were done here, here in Japan. I think they used the Toyokase at that time. But, you know, those initial pressings were very, very rare, you know, even here in Japan. You know, I, I, I think you know, I just got one or two, you know, uh, copies, titles before sometime last year but you know very rare yes very rare but the cutting the cutting of this uh, later reissues like these you know pressed and cut cut and pressed in the US I think you know the cutting is much much better than the you know in the initial cutting or the pressing here in Japan yeah that's what I can tell so I don't know who did that cutting, I don't know, but you know, somebody, somebody at the Fantasy US or somebody, you know, the Fantasy US maybe delegated the cutting to, I don't know, you know, in case you know it, <laughs> please let me know. And, uh, but another thing I know is that, um, you know, at that time, at the Fantasy, they let the legendary sound engineer called Phil Delancey to remaster, you know, all the, you know, the titles of the Prestige and also the Riverside at that time. 
I don't know it took how many years, but you know it took a long time for him to remaster everything. So that's why they later on uh, produced and reissued uh, those great, great you know prestige titles and the Riverside titles as OJC series, right? And to compare to that in you know, OJC series, I think you know the cutting with this you know WWLJ series, the Wave Jazz Classics. I think is fantastic yeah very very good you know the sound is just dynamic and uh you know everything and the balancing and also the mid-range and also the yeah I, the bass sound everything is dynamic you know yes <laughs> so that's it for today i hope you like it and um lastly you know if you have not yet you know subscribed our channel youtube channel just subscribe it and also i'll just put the link below in the description uh for the blog post you know i just put the uh more deeper i mean deeper information about this in a way uh, jazz classics series okay that's it for today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye